Hey everybody, welcome back to MacKiteboarding.com. Quick tips, this is Tucker, and today I'm gonna share with you some tips that I've learned on light wind wing foiling starts, specifically pumping techniques with your sail. As with all of our videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you appreciate this video. Comments in the section below, share with us what you think it works, if it doesn't work, if you have a better technique, we'd love to hear it. And also subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more videos like this, reviews, session videos, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's jump into our next quick tip. For this video, we're gonna pretend that my magic wing selfie stick here is the boom of the wing. So this is the strut, the boom, where you hang on to the handles or the boom itself if you have a duotone wing. Um, and that way you can kind of see what's going on with this um, without all the sail flapping and, and getting in the way. So one thing that I've realized, uh, light wind winging, as your skill and your technique pumping the foil, but also your technique with the wing and how you handle it really determines the low end range and how, how early you can go out and ride in the wind. Um, so on these light wind days, you know, we get a lot of them here in Michigan, spring and summertime. So we're in almost the fall now, I, I guess technically in fall. Um, so we're starting to get more wind, but I've learned a lot over the past two summers, um, developed my technique and what works best. Now I'll share some of that with you today. Um, first, you need to get the board onto foil. Your board's on the surface of the water. You want to get that foil flying, get the board off the water to remove all that surface tension, all that drag. Um, so to do that, the first thing you want to do is develop that deep pumping method. Um, one thing that I've realized is rather than just pumping like this or pumping with both hands like this, um, while both work quite well, um, I've kind of turned it into, um, it's a two-handed method, but also a little bit of uh, a rotation in it. So if I'm going to my left, uh, riding like a regular stance heel side, I'm rotating clockwise going to my right or goofy stance, I'm rotating counterclockwise, or sorry, counterclockwise. <laughs> um, and that, that little circular motion helps me with the power of my pump and keeping the sail in the proper orientation as I pump. So what happens there is you're pushing the sail back into the wind as you come down that keeps the sail uh, fully don't want to say inflated, it keeps wind in the sail. So it's holding the proper shape. It's not going um, because anytime your, your sail is flapping or especially if it's folding in on itself, it's not providing power. It's not providing lift. So you want to keep the sail shape as optimal as possible, but also pushing that sail back into the wind hits a deeper power zone in, in the wind and how it catches that uh, so it gives you that, that little bit of start, a little bit of wind and power in your sail to start the rotation. And then as you come through and push forward, you should be pulling in a little bit more on your backhand. And that just gives you a little extra apparent wind in your sail as you force it through. So you're just kind of amplifying the wind that's already there and pulling in a little bit more because with a little bit more power in your sail, you can handle a harder angle of attack um, and, and capitalize on more power once that sail is moving and, and powered. Um, lastly, you're gonna bring it up at the end of that and let out a little bit. If you're familiar with kiteboarding, this is like when you upstroke a kite and you let out a little bit, it allows it to fly a little faster, create a little bit of extra kind of lift at that point, and, and also just kind of keep the sail in the proper orientation as you transition to pushing it back in the window where you're not gonna have, you know, as much apparent wind flying through the sail. You're not gonna have, you know, the same level of power in the sail that you can get that same level of angle of attack. So it's, it's kind of a in and out, but also a circular motion. So as you're going across, or I'm sorry, as you're going up and back, you're a little bit less sheeted in 
as you're coming down and through, you're pulling in a little bit more. So it looks something like that. Um, and you tend to do a little bit larger, uh, slower rhythm pumps to capitalize on that. Now that's the first part of it. Once you start flying, I found that that deep pump method, you know, while it still works pretty good, isn't exactly optimal for generating speed. Um, and that's for two reasons. Number one, you're letting the, air, the wind in and out of the sail. You don't need that deep grunt anymore. Now you wanna build flying speed. You wanna build apparent wind and your, sail, or your foil has now begun to fly, build speed, so you just wanna help it do that. To do that, I found that short, fast pumps, um, for whatever reason, honestly, I haven't really even like figured it out yet, um, create speed a little faster. They allow, you know, just some little bursts to get the foil flying a little bit faster, it allows you to kind of feel out and find where that optimal power zone is, what the optimal angle of attack for the wing is in that kind of wind. Um, because if you're riding light wind, there's a real fine line there between oversheeting and losing that, that flying forward speed and power and oversheeting it um, and then undersheeting it and not capitalizing on all the power that you could be from the sail. So that's something to keep in mind. Give it a try, let us know what you think. Um, but based on my experience, that's really helped me. And, and since I've started using that method, I would say I've, I've improved my bottom end with the same equipment by you know maybe as much as two, even three knots, um, you know, depending on my equipment and in the day. Um, so it really helps out. As with all of our videos, give us a thumbs up if you appreciated the video, share it with a friend, give us your comments in the section below and subscribe to our channel for more tips and other cool videos like this. This has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com and we'll see you next time.